five are the Power Rangers. Did I just hear you say we're Power Rangers? Is this some kind of joke? We're talking to a wall. I was kind of expecting a little more. What is it like being part of such an iconic franchise? Uh, well, it's iconic to me because I'm an OG fan myself. Um, I was actually quite a fanatic. Uh, it holds a lot of meaning for me. My first little action figure was a yellow Power Ranger. I didn't even know it was a Power Ranger until I uh, came to North, North America and saw the TV series and found out that, wow, way back then, this little guy that followed me on adventures over dinner tables and bathtubs and everywhere was a Power Ranger. Um, and then now, seeing little kids enjoying this series, I just feel like I'm paying it forward, so it's a great feeling. What was it like for you to go from acting in uh, different countries, coming to America? Is the film industry very different for you here? Uh, I actually started my, I guess, my film history here in America because I studied film in Canada and in the U.S. Um, and made a conscious decision to move back to China to pursue film there as well because that's a huge landscape that's unexplored and I feel like there's so much creativity. So many people in China and there are so many stories and not just like stereotypical what we think of as Chinese stories but human stories that are very... Uh, like just intriguing and attractive to me, but those aren't being expressed for some reason. I can't, um, in the past, past five years that I've moved back to China, I can't think of too many films that are really real and really gut-wrenching and visceral. Um, and I'm just waiting for that opportunity to, to be brought out. Um, because I've, I speak fluent Mandarin and Cantonese, I want the opportunity to be able to portray some of those characters as well. And to, and to broaden the horizon for uh, audience all across the world and just paint three-dimensional um, Asian people. Right. Paint them in a three-dimensional way that people can feel like they can be attractive and um, they can be masculine, right? They can be sexy um, and they can be cool. And so for audiences that are just being introduced to you through the Power Rangers franchise, what's something, a hidden talent, a fact about you that you want to let people know to introduce yourself to them? Okay, well, I'll, I'll, um, I'll give you two facts, right? Okay. One cool thing I can do is uh, I can blow bubbles off my tongue. Not working right now. Hold on. <laughs> oh, that? there we go. <laughs> and one embarrassing thing, just to balance things out, I, this this is Zach, right? He can he can do strange, cool stuff, and he seems really cool, well off on his own. But he's very insecure inside as well. Um, I mean, I I grew up with a very flat head, like in the back of my head is just really flat. Um, that's because my mom made me sleep on my back all the time. That's the way she preferred, right? And I was embarrassed by that for a long time. And that's the insecure side of things, right? But um, I don't mind it now. I think it makes me look beautiful. It just makes me unique. So um, I think people should embrace their imperfections and understand that nobody's perfect. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.